Hello, welcome back. Welcome to Graphic Programming with C. I am Shaji. In the last videos, we have seen some graphic programming, including the digital differential algorithm for drawing a line, uh, and we have seen the Bresnams algorithm for drawing a line. Here in this video, we are going to discuss how to draw a, uh, a circle using Bresnams algorithm. So here we are using the standard header files including the graphics.h header file in our program. And in the main function we are initializing the init graph function with gd and gm two variables which we have declared as integer type and which is going to be used the graphic mode and graphic driver values the constant the values by executing this init graph. And here in this program, we have used one more uh, graphic function that is clear device. device. Normally in uh, C text mode, we used to clear the screen by using CLR SCR. In the DOS mode, we will use CLS. But if you use CLR SCR, that won't be perfect in graphics mode because CLR SCR is a function can be used only for text mode. If you want to clear the screen properly without having any patches here and there, we have to use clear device. The total graphic device will be cleared. There won't be any arguments for that because we have just wanted to clear it. Here we have some table declarations and some initializations here. That is R, X, Y, P, X, C, X, Y. Sorry, X, C and Y, C. R is the radius, R is used for the radius of the circle and X, Y are the mid value for the circle. P is used for the decision factor and we have one X constant value and Y constant value to set the size of the screen. And here in this block we are going to read the radius of the circle which we are going to draw. For a circle we need only the radius and we can use x y values also but we are going to give a fixed x y values that is x center and y center which we have already initialized in this program. Otherwise if you want to read you can give uh, two more print of scan of combinations uh, to get to read the values of the x va y values for the circle. Okay, after reading the values of value of r, we are going to initialize the values of x y, x equal to zero and y equal to r, and we are going to put put pixel x c plus x comma y c minus y comma 1. We are going to put a single pixel on this particular point. This is going to be one point in the circumference of the circle. Rest of the values we will find by the instructions given by the Brasnams in the Brasnams algorithm. So here we have the decision factor value that is P. P is calculated uh, using this formula. P equal to 3 minus 2R. And for the circle, actually we are drawing, we are going to uh, calculate only the one eighth arc of a circle and by making replica of this arc, we can make the circle, the complete circle. So that is the technique which we are using here for this circle drawing algorithm. And we have a for loop here in this program for x equal to 0, x less than or equal to y, x plus plus. This is the loop, initial value of x equal to 0 and the final value of x equal to y. And each step, x is going to be incremented so that we can cover the area of the arc. If p less than 0, this is a decision factor. We have already used the formula to calculate p. Here the value is calculated with the help of this formula, with the help of this, with the reference to the uh, radius value. 
so radians radius value is going to directly affect the value of p and if suppose it is less than zero we have to do, do this block otherwise we have to do the other block in both the places we are redefining p with some different formulas if p is less than zero then y equal to y there is no change in y otherwise p equal to p plus 4x plus 6 this is a formula if p is less than zero or p is a minus value negative value otherwise if suppose p is positive then formula is different p equal to p plus 4 x minus y plus 10 that is a redefined or new value for the p y equal to y minus 1 this case we are going to decrement the y by one step and the other case y is kept constant we are not doing anything with the y and after calculating the p and the decision factor as well as defining the value of y every time the x value is going to be incremented but y value whether it should be incremented or not that is decided with the p factor after that we are going to put 8 pixels on the screen with the x value and the y value which we have calculated with this Presenum's technique and for finding different 8 values we are adding we are getting the different prob probabilities of addition and subtraction uh, with this x y value calculated with x e value and y c value which are the middle values if you add x e with x you will get one side if you subtract you will get the other side and in the same way if you do all the probabilities we will be getting different eight points along the circle so at the completion of this loop that means if it is executing x to y if it is executing x to y each step we will be plotting eight different values and finally we will be getting the circle the complete perfect circle after drawing the circle to release the graphic mode we can close graph we can use this method close graph okay this is program in this program every time we are going to redefine the decision factor p according to that value we are going to uh, decide whether y should be incremented or not but every step x is being incremented within the for loop so basically we are going to draw only one eighth part of the circle the replicas of this arc eight times in eight different angles we can form the complete circle that is the logic behind the circle drawing algorithms you can try this program out you can enter the radius of the circle and you can visualize that the circle is drawn each and every arc part is drawn with different colors because we have used different colors we have used different colors for drawing the circle the arc part each time 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to 8 different colors we have given so you can see the arcs which are joining to form a circle and all the arc part will be of different colors so if you want to see it dynamically one by one pixel how it is plotted you can put a get ch here but it will take a lot of time to complete the complete execution but even then you can see how each and every pixel is plotted one by one you can strike another key or press any space key or any other key so that each and every steps of the circle plotting can be experimented in this method so this is the present circle drawing algorithm i hope you have enjoyed this video please try this program type this code and please execute this program by yourself then you can feel the program i hope you might have understood the Bresnam's circle drawing algorithm if you have any doubts please feel free to write to me this is my email id it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com thank you for watching this video have a nice day